ProMedica was on a roll, buying up properties, nursing homes, and sponsoring events. But then the bottom fell out and the company lost hundreds of millions of dollars. Tim Miller explores why they fell so hard so fast and what's next. From Third Eye Blind in 2021 to Killer Queen singing the hits of Queen. Promenade Park had become the place to be with its summer concert series, and Prometica was at the heart of it all, putting its name on the event and providing a large portion of the funding to bring in big name acts. Love coming downtown for, for these concerts. It's just been wonderful through the years. But things are much different now. Prometica is still sponsoring the concert series, but this summer slashed the number of shows from eight to four. Prometica also suspended its $10 million donation to the Metro Parks Toledo, pulled out of its title sponsorship for Jeep Fest, and terminated a 10-year sponsorship agreement with the USGA for the U.S. Women's Open. In April, ProMedica posted operating losses of almost $350 million for the fourth quarter of 2022. That followed these other eye-opening losses from earlier in the year. First quarter, $126 million. Second quarter, $155 million. And third quarter, $77.5 million in losses. Just two weeks ago, Fitch Ratings downgraded ProMedica's credit rating for the second time in one year. No, I don't think it was surprising. I mean, we knew all along they were sort of struggling in the senior care division. Um, you know, obviously the provider division was, you know, struggling as like many other providers in the U.S. There was just no safe place to hide. There was always one major division under duress. So what caused ProMedica to go from a booming summer concert series, buying up HCR Manor Care skilled nursing facilities, seemingly transforming downtown to such terrible losses? Kevin Holleran of Fitch Ratings says ProMedica had big goals and tried new things, many of which didn't work. You can certainly make that argument uh, that it was too much too fast. But the reality is, you know, sometimes you break some uh, you break some eggs to make some omelets. Randy Ostra dropped as president of ProMedica last May and now retired. Former CEO of ProMedica told our Jeff Smith on Leading Edge this past weekend that the COVID pandemic started the downfall and ruined their lofty plans. So you had these massive increases in costs for staff and if you could get staff. Uh, and then, of course, we have inflation. And then all of a sudden we saw reimbursement cuts. Ostra said the acquisition of the HCR Manor Care Skilled Nursing Centers wasn't a mistake. He loved the strategy and believed the company was into its best financial times. But then COVID. Things like never happened before. You know, we shut down, we shut down the world and we shut down everything we were doing. Worldwide pandemic wasn't on a risk assessment, you know, and so if someone wants to blame me personally for the pandemic and the effects of the pandemic. In late 2022, ProMedica divested of or sold off those 100 plus HCR Manor Care skilled nursing facilities that were losing money and laid off 262 people. But last week, some positive signs. The company posted an operating income for the first time since 2020, announcing a net income of $23.7 million for the first quarter of this year, mostly coming from its provider division. We wanted to know what Toledo Mayor Wade Kapsikavich thought about ProMedica's outlook, but his office would not make him available for an interview. And ProMedica would not agree to provide someone for a face-to-face -face interview, only offering this statement that said in part, the improvement reflects our diligent focus on managing our operational portfolio and making decisions that support a stable and sustainable organization. It is also a testament to the hard work and dedication of employees all across our organization as we continue to navigate industry challenges. Lucas County Commissioner Pete Gerken expects it to take time for ProMedica to recover from the millions in losses but he doesn't regret their attempts at change. We wouldn't be looking at a steam plant that looked like this. You wouldn't be looking at a Huntington Center that looks like that because they stepped up and took sponsorships. Gherkin doesn't expect ProMedica to put money into county projects for at least a few years. It's like pioneers. They're the first ones to go, but somebody, someone, somebody once told me pioneers are great, but sometimes they get shot in the back. Um, they, they were the pioneers to, to be an institutional investor with the public sector downtown. There are plenty of, plenty of corporations in this region that could step up and do the same. 
Fitch Ratings analysts predict 2023 will be another tough year for ProMedica, but say the provider and insurance divisions are doing better than expected and are something to build on. In Toledo, Tim Miller, WTOL 11. And this back to basic strategy from ProMedica will focus on its hospitals and healthcare providers and less dollars for community programs and projects.